welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now and getting the call for this one, Ryan Yarborough. Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. That clips the corner. Yarborough, a guy that really fills up the strike zone, rarely walks people. The downside is the home run ball more likely in play. Oh, that got him. First batter of the game is hit by the pitch. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Step off, throw to first. Corner, back easily. Well, pitchers like this usually work down in the zone a lot, but these days, with all the uppercut swings most hitters are taking to elevate the ball, pitchers almost have to be effective up in the zone with hard stuff so maybe that's one area he can improve in his game to try to combat that long ball gets a piece and stays alive as a hitter does knowing that this guy's going to be in the zone does that make you more aggressive Kind of, but you still have to stay on that back side. You've got to make sure you get pitch recognition and let your hands work. Horner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. The pitch. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Corner round second, heads for third. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Strike two. Did you ever really need a cue to be more aggressive? No, I never did especially when it comes to messing with you. Wow. That one ripped. And gone! A shot to the opposite field. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-0. I think he was anticipating the hitter to be caught off guard by how slow that changeup was. But to his credit, very patient, waited for it, and he turned it around. So now it's the four hole hitter, number 40. Kicks and deals. Lifted in the air out to left. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. And now it's Miguel Amaya. The wind and the pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two outs, space is empty. Matt Mervis getting ready to hit. Next pitch misses inside. And a count two and one. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two 
to the right side and that's just foul tough start for him so far already at 30 pitches here in the first swings and misses pulled the string on the changeup so the Cubs get three on this blast it's now three nothing you're watching Major League back here at the ballpark on the hill here today number 18 how about a scouting report on him anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that i'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today Casey makes the grab one down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. Already they find themselves down three runs in this game, so there's work to be done. Yeah, you want to see them come out with a little urgency here. You don't have to score all three runs, but put something up on the board, and that'll make you feel a little bit better about your opportunities. But if you're looking at that three-run lead and saying we've got to get it right now, you can put yourself up against a wall and not have really good at bats. So just trust the process. Trust that your pitcher can hold them right there. These guys could find themselves back in this ball game. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The next offering misses. Three and one now. There's a strike. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here, three nothing. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Alexander Canario. Alexander Canario. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Pajes pulls that one down. One away. Here's the left fielder, Owen Casey. Owen Casey. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Hard ground ball, base knob. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Casey, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch misses. Full count three and two. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Back to back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Line drive. He hauls it in. Two away. So first and second with two outs. Dansby Swanson stands in. One for one with a double and a run score. First and second. Two down. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. On the ground right side and foul ball. And a pitch. Good eye right there. 
two and two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Here's a high chopper. Over to first, yep, and Swanson is set down. And that is the third out of the inning. Cubs strand a couple, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's some real power at the plate. Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Casey drifts towards it. And there's one away. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Teoscar Hernandez. And a big swing and a miss. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And here it comes. In the dirt. Throw to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Two outs. Base is empty. Andy Pajes now at the plate. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. And a ball evens the count. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And now the lefty just okay. missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out looking. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 0. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now Christopher Morrell. On a strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Cubs do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wants. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one's gone. He powers one out to right field. His second home run of the game. It's 4 nothing. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Now at the plate, number 40. Pitch oh. misses, and the count is 3-1. and one. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Foul ball. So now three and two. Popped in the air. Left field. Avens falls it in, and there's one away. Now batting. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Miguel, Miguel Amaya. Amaya. One down, base is empty. Tapped softly on the ground. Fires across the diamond, and now two gone. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. The one-two. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two outs. And it's even up. Action in the pen down there. Gus Barlin getting ready to go. And a pitch. That one misses, and it's three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he walked him. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. The pitch. Ripped on a line. And that'll do it. Cubs get one on the solo shot. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the rookie DH, number 68. The pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Number 82 steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Step off throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch, not close, up high. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss there. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And now two and two. He goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now it's going to be Drew Avins. Left-hand batter waits. Lifted in the air, right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Miguel Rojas. Glide out his first time. On the outside corner, and the count is one and two. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. On the ground. Fires over to first. That ends the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Gus Barlow on the pitch here. Still pretty early in the ballgame, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Next one off the plate inside, and it's 2 and 1. Swing and a miss. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. 
couple of hits in a row for him here. Oh, nice job of driving that pitch the that other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Digging in, Moises Ballesteros. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes and one away. So the batting order turns over. Here's Nico Horner. Right-handed reliever. And That's delivers outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Check on the runner. And he's back safely. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. The 2 1. And that one is inside. Three one is on the way. That one fouled off. Casey leads off first with one away. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. Casey coming home. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. Christopher Morell, the next cup to hit. Flashed his power last time. Blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. And the pitch. Runner at second. Two down. Pitches outside. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And yeah, there's oh. ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next one misses. Two and two. It's a good take. Two and two. Caught it looking for the K. One run in the inning, but they leave two. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Cubs five and the Dodgers nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The first baseman, Freddie. The one two. That one just misses. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Ready, Freeman pops one out of here. And they're on the board. It's 5-1.
breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. The batter now will be Will Smith. He struck out swinging at his first oh. at bat. And another ball. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Kicks and fires. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Started after it, appeal to first, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Here comes a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. One strike. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Ripped on the ground a second. Horner over to first. They get the out on Muncie. Two outs, base is empty. And next for LA, Teoscar Hernandez. He's over one. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back after this. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. So up now for Chicago, Miguel Amaya. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. and misses it's a strikeout and he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to that one missed oh, foul ball another 2-2 upcoming And the right hander deals. That one to first. And Freeman, the gold glover, makes the play. Tosses Stay to the down. pitcher covering the bag. Two up, two down. And up next for Chicago, Alexander Canario. Ball to strike. Good eye oh. right there. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right oh. away it was an off-speed pitch. The 2 2. Good eye on that spot. Three balls, two strikes. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Next for the Cubs, Owen Casey. New pitcher for the Dodgers. Number 71. Throw over the first. Canario back in on a dive. Falling behind 2-1. and one. Canario leads off first with two down to the inning. Missing inside, and that's ball three. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. The one one. Swing and a miss as he was out front.
That one just missing inside. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. Havens under it. And that'll do it. Cubs strand a couple. They lead this one, though, 5-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Andy Pajes. The wind of the pitch. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And the 3-1. On the ground right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. At the play, number 68. And it's into the gap. Here comes Pajes around third. Comes through with the RBI. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Number 82 steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Man at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him swinging. Oh, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's yeah, just man. a slider that caught a lot of the really plate. I'd say a very hittable Ooh. location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Runner at second here, one gone. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. No swing. Next offering misses, and okay. a full count now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. The one, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. Just off the outside edge. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Payoff pitch. Left field. And it stays fair. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's now a two-run game. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Two outs, runner at first. Freddie Freeman digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. The next oh. offering misses. Two and one. Two and one. Oh, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. 
Next one misses three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The three one. So now two on and two outs. Next to hit Will Smith who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a ball in two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul ball still a one and two count. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swing and a pop up. Corner. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We're through five. It's the Cubs five and the Dodgers three. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. And he deals. Upstairs. Activity in the bullpen. Ricky Venasco looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Swing and a ball popped up. Dives. What a play. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over it. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. The batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Tap back up the middle. Throw on to Freeman. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The third base. So up now for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Here's a 2-2. That's down and in. Three balls, two strikes. The right hander gives up the two-out walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some it. good patience in Number this four. one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. 2-1 now. And strike two. Two balls, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Cubs five. And Mark Leiter Jr. will take now over here. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Got it by him for the K. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think now that pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. That misses, and it's two and two. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Carl Edwards Jr. throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Oh. 
Next offering upstairs. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And into second with one away. That's a double. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. One down. Andy Pajas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. On the ground, right side, down the line, and it's foul. Next pitch is outside. And now the count filled up three and two. Number 68 up next for the Dodgers. Runner leads away at second. Got him swinging. Two out. Next is the Dodger DH, number 68. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. 1-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Hernandez stands at second with two gone. Another one, two. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We're through six full. It's the Cubs five and the Dodgers three. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now the catcher comes up to him, Miguel Amaya. Amaya. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. One gone here. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And now it's even up. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Way out front for strike two. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real lot. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. And the Cubs are down in order as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Yency Almonte. Number 25. And at the plate for the Dodgers, number 82. There's a 1-1. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. And a rope in the center field base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Righty to the plate. On the ground, could be two. Flips it for one. On to first, double play. 
to the top of the Dodgers order. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Miguel Rojas. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. A new arm into the game, the righty, Ryan Brazier. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Owen Casey getting ready to hit. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and deals. Ground ball right side. And that chance handled. The throw to first. One up, one down. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. And now the DH. Moises Ballesteros. Strike two. <laughs> Stays alive. And the righty deals. That's outside. And now three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. On the ground to third. Muncie sends it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Up next for the Cubs. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Into the outfield base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And here is Dansby Swanson. And Swanson is set down. And that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. Then it remains 5-3. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Adbert Alzalot. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's already homered in this game. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's a little high. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next pitch inside, three and one. Left hand batter waits. Rolled slowly to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 1-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a good oh. eye there. Good shot. location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Whoa. Next offering misses. Three oh. and two now. Right. Smith tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Here comes Max Muncy. The 3 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Muncy leaves the yard, and they cut into the lead. It's 5-4. A 
good hitter gets pitch recognition early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And a swing and a miss. Two two down. And that's outside. Andy Pajas waiting to bat for the Dodgers. The tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers claw back a bit with this homer. It's now a 5-4 ball game. New inning getting started. And here is Christopher Morrell. The 2-1. Hammer, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now it's going to be number 40. No, the 1-1 one -one is upstairs. Ball two. And a pitch. And there's the strike. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. Throws to first. Yeah. And there's two away. Matt Mervis, the next cup to hit. The pitch. On the ground, right oh. side. And it goes just foul. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! A soaring shot to center. And they boost their lead. It's 7-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That might be the toughest pitch to hit a home run on. Same side thrower as the hitter inside part of the plate. That front door breaking ball, it'll make you flinch a lot of times. So to stay in there and get through it the way he did, an incredible piece of hitting. Justin Wilson into the game. He's being brings it in for the third out. Cubs at two on this homer. It's now a 7-4 ball game. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Hector Neris. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Two and one. The two on. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And here it comes. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Number 68 steps to the plate for the Dodgers. At the belt and fires. Started to swing, held up. Check. 
check swing, but he went too far. And it's three and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Amaya under it. And there's two down. Now back. Here's the second baseman, number 82. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. What's the point if the world begins to turn? Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Dodgers, four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 25 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.